Hello everyone. In this video, we'll create a robust line-following robot simulation from scratch using Python and Pygame. I'll show you how to make the robot navigate smoothly, even around corners, and how it recovers when it loses track of the line. We'll also cover how to draw paths, like a spiral, directly in the code, or create custom maps using MS Paint. So let's dive in. We'll be working on two main files main.py and robot.py. In main.py, we control the robot and simulation loop, and in robot.py, we define the robot's behavior. We'll also use Pygame to visualize everything, so make sure to install it by running this line in the terminal. pip install Pygame. The first critical part of our robot is its sensors. The robot uses three line sensors, left, center, and right. These sensors detect the line by checking the color of the pixels in the map. The function computes the sensor's position relative to the robot. If a sensor detects a dark pixel, representing the line, it returns 1. If no line is detected, it returns 0. These readings will guide the robot to either move forward, turn, or attempt to recover. Next up is line following. The robot uses a proportional controller to smoothly adjust its wheel speeds based on the sensor readings. This makes it more responsive and able to handle sharp corners or recover from losing the line. The robot assigns weights to each sensor and calculates an error based on which sensor detects the line. If the left sensor detects the line, the robot knows it needs to turn right, and vice versa. Recovery Behavior If none of the sensors detect the line, the robot counts how long it has been off the line. After a few cycles, it initiates a recovery behavior, such as turning in the last known direction of the line. This approach helps the robot handle sharp corners and recover when it temporarily loses track of the line. Next, we define how the robot moves based on its wheel speeds. This is done in the kinematics function. The robot's new position is computed using basic differential drive kinematics. The heading, or direction, is updated based on the difference between the left and right wheel speeds. This allows the robot to turn and move forward. Let's look at how we draw a spiral line in the simulation. In the graphics class, we define a method called drawline. This loop increases the radius as the angle grows, creating a spiral shape on the map. The cosine and sine functions calculate the x and y coordinates for each point along the spiral. If you prefer, you can create your own custom path in MS Paint. Here's how. Open MS Paint and draw your path using black lines on a white background. Make sure the lines are thick enough for the robot sensors to detect. Save the file as a PNG, for example. ObstacleAvoidanceMap.png In the code, update the graphics initialization to load your custom map. Inside the graphics class, Pygame loads and scales the image. Now, the robot will follow the path you designed in Paint. And that's how you create a robust line-following robot simulation in Python using Pygame. We've covered how the robot detects the line, follows it using a proportional controller, recovers when it loses the line, and draws paths either programmatically or with tools like MS Paint. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to check out the code link in the description. Feel free to experiment with different paths and settings and see how the robot handles them. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.